Hello guys, today I will be reviewing the Acoustic Waves 2. This is the last year that Bo was designed in the Acoustic Wave system. Now, it is interesting because there is a... I was comparing the CD3000, which is the same design in the front. And I did notice that, you know, Bose never said that there was a, a you know, sound difference between the CD3000 and the Acoustic Wave 2. All they said was, for example, what I can tell you and notice, they changed, let's say, the button. They redesigned the buttons. Instead of having the Acoustic Wave system here, it has Acoustic Wave Music System 2 on the left side. The screen is much nicer. Um, it's brighter. And it has more features. For example, it even has like a menu built in. So it reminds me of the last year model wave system, the smaller ones. And actually the second generation CD player wave system um, had the menu system. So that, that they updated. Now, Bose did keep the same front on the Acoustic Wave 2. But they changed the top, like the buttons, and you know, redesigned the CD um, lid here. So we get to the back, but I'm going to show you the difference. Slide this here. Okay, so what Bose did add that the CD3 doesn't doesn't have was the Bose Link. Actually, when you see that wireless emblem there. It means that you can connect the Bluetooth, original Bose Bluetooth adapter, which is discontinued, so they're pretty expensive on today's market. It'll be built into the unit. Now, if you don't have that wireless emblem, I do have to say, let's say if you bought this unit pre-owned, you would have to update the unit with a update disc. So that's something you would have to consider if you ever considered getting the original Bose Bluetooth adapter. Now they added a headphone jack. And then they added the FM antenna more redesigned instead of having the little one that you twist on the antenna. It has like a headphone jack style. Um, from here, it's the same design, which is actually this design was introduced in 1984. So they actually always kept this design, which is which is good for the person that buys this unit. Because, well, even though it's discontinued, but let's say that design was so good that Bose never even redesigned it. Um, one thing I can tell you in the first year model, which, which was a cassette deck, that Bose emblem was on the side. And actually, they continued that on the CD3000, which is the model before this one. And then they put the Bose emblem in the middle. That's why, as I was saying in the previous videos, they look same on the front but like I said what Bose didn't say which I actually was a little bit surprised but they never said that the acoustic wave system 2 this last year that they designed had it's it's more clear and has more bass it's not like a tremendous difference that you could say like oh wow but to me I like my music with you know the most clarity and bass and for me when i put them side by side i notice a slight difference like i said it's not a huge difference so i don't want to make somebody not buy the cd3000 depending on your budget um but you know if you don't like as much bass then the acoustic wave cd3000 is better because it does have a slightly less bass and i definitely noticed that on the fm now let's actually turn it on here. So you're in the middle of a kitchen update, and you can't tell if that's a faucet stem or a flange. With the Home Depot app, do it. It doesn't miss a... Now this whole screen was redesigned by Bose. Now again, the Acoustic Wave 2, 
what I do like, like I said, if you're gonna get into one of these units, definitely I will look into the Acoustic Wave CD3000 or the Acoustic Wave 2. But if you listen to that clarity there. Know. Very nice, very nice unit. Although I can tell you, the retail price on these were one thousand ninety nine ninety five, and then the additional CD changer, which just had five CDs, that was three ninety nine ninety five. So you're talking about you were going to spend on this unit almost fifteen hundred dollars at the time. And again, there's, there was no built-in Bluetooth, so that's why what Bose did in this model, they added, let's say, the iPod dock, then the Bluetooth adapter, which was very helpful, even though Bose also did a sound touch link adapter, which they don't make anymore, which makes it Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but it's just an adapter, the Bose link one that I'm referring to, you will see it on the screen, like pop up, up like Bluetooth, which the CD3000 didn't have that feature. This is the unit. Again, personally, I'm a Bose fan, so I would recommend the unit. You know, it's it was very well designed, and again, like I said, this surprisingly <laughs> the last year model sounded better than the CD3000. And I had to do this review because I looked up online. I was just curious, so let me look, and I didn't find nobody that spoke about the sound difference and i'm like wait a minute you know i feel like i want to post this video and you know maybe it'll be helpful for somebody that's still in the market for this unit or maybe has an older one and you know something happened even though there are some repairs for them but depending on what happens to the unit it's like okay well at least you guys know that the unit does have a difference even with the sound again nothing majorly different like you, you could you, you could put them apart but i i definitely notice more basic clarity on this unit and the acoustic weight too as per the cd3000 but if you guys have any questions about the unit definitely feel free to ask any questions um i really really like really like the unit um you know i can highly recommend it Again, another thing feature that this one has on the CD3000 didn't have actually could put in there. This has MP3 playback. Whoever uses MP3 playback still. That's where the CD3000 didn't have that. But I'm assuming that the sound difference is because Bose redesigned the board inside. It's a whole different board. I'm assuming they they tinkered with a setting that made the sound better. Um, but again, you know, it, it's very interesting how they didn't say that, that, that there was a sound difference. But, um, yep. So, thank you guys for watching. Here's the unit. Enjoy.